this is where if you are given a data set, two data sets, to be able to compare them, which is what you will end up doing after you have your two data sets set up in your into your stem and leaf plots, just like we showed you how to do. So here we have pulse rate and beats per minute before exercise and after exercise. And we've got the key made so we know what everything means. And we want to compare them including the median, the shape, the mode, the highest value, the lowest value, interval for majority of data, etc. So when I take a look at this, I'm seeing a lot of different things. So one of the first things that I want to know, I want to make a comment of is that it's kind of common sense, but I see that the before exercise has lower heart rates. And that kind of makes sense because when you're not working, your heart rate's going to be lower. And I'm going to put a heart for my abbreviation. And then I'm going to make a note that after exercise is higher. I'm also noticing that if I calculate the medians of this, which I'm going to show you how to do that real quickly on a stem and leaf plot. Um, because it is useful to know. On the before side, what I'm going to do is we had to cross off the lowest value and the highest value. Lowest value, highest value, and keep going. So my lowest value is 50. My highest value is 79, which I can also make note of, which and I will do in a little bit. Then I go lowest value, highest value. Lowest value, now my highest, that's easy. Now when I go lowest again, I always go from inside here, but now I need to go highest, which is higher than six, is 67. Then I go here, and then here. And then I go lowest, highest, lowest, highest. And I see here that my stem is six, so my median before is going to be 61. So I'm going to make note of that. I'm going to scroll this up a little bit so we have some writing room. And I'm going to write median and write before is 61. Now if I go over to the other side for after And I see we go lowest value, highest value, lowest, highest, lowest. Now I go out here because I need highest, lowest, highest, lowest, highest, lowest, highest, lowest, highest. And now 71 is going to be my after data. So I'm going to make a comment that after is going to be 71. And I also am noticing that the modes for mode, we run into a bimodal situation both times for before, and I'm now going to abbreviate that with a B. We have modes of 60 and 66, and after we're running into 68 and 74. I've got low values before exercise of 50 and after at 59, which is really abnormally low for a after exercise they obviously have had a chance to recover and my high values before is going to be 79 and after high value is going to be 92 which is well still relatively good
So now, as you can see, when we're talking about comparing the data, we're taking a look at the information and telling what is there. Ideally, I'd like to see you do it in complete sentences, but once again, that's not a huge deal. So now what I need you to do is to go ahead and try this you try problem, comparing the two data sets of new car mileage and city and highway, knowing that on the left hand side a 0 slash 2 is 20 miles per gallon and on the right hand side a 2 slash 7 is 27 miles per gallon. And I want you to take a look at the data and compare it. Take a look at the example two especially to take a look at that information so you can have that for class so you can be able to apply it to your project.